Hey everybody, it's Jared here at Big Pine Sports. I'm sitting inside of the new Maverick R. There are tons of accessories available for inside the vehicle. This one's gonna touch base on some of them. All right, so with the 10.25 inch screen, there are a ton of things that you're able to do. You can control up to 19 different accessories uh, from the controller itself. And as you go through all of the different modes, you'll be able to change those, see those in real time. You can swipe through the screens. You can press and bring things to light. You can see what the suspension's doing. All of that screen is customizable. And as you're going down the trail, you can see what's happening again in real time. You do have the ability to connect your devices through it as well. Uh, media, you can go through and play all your music through there as well. So if you do have this main head unit, you do not need to get the accessory that you'll need on the base model R to control the music because that'll all happen right here on the 10.25 inch screen. Back to the gauges. So all of the gauges are customizable as well. You can go in and modify all the controls. So from here you can go to the BRP Go app and you'll be able to do all of your mapping and trail systems from there. You've got all of the controls. This is for all of the lighting that's on the vehicle right now as well as any of the smart accessories. So you've got the chase lights down here. You can have the running lights that are illuminated red right now. The chase lights are gonna be amber and they'll go based on the speed and then your work mode will make them white. You do have the windshield wiper uh, go through. Wiper turns on right here. You've got the smart LED roof, low. This is the light bar that's up in the roof. So low, high, and auto. So when you're in auto, that's based on the speed that you're traveling as you're going down the trail. So when you're going slow, it's gonna broadcast wide light. And then as you speed up, it's gonna direct that light further down in front of you. Uh, the smart LED mirrors on and auto. So as you go into the on mode, they're gonna be bright. When you go into auto, as you change, you can see this gentleman's hand over here. And as I turn the steering wheel, it's gonna make that side of the light brighter. Go back, it's gonna take it off. So really cool features there. Um, you've got the LED hood light. So this is the small light up in the hood. You've got low, high, and auto on that as well. Let's see what else we got. All front LED off. So another thing that you can be doing is as you're going down the trail, instead of pulling up on this, these switches down here that are circling, these are smart uh, accessories. So I can be going down the trail and let me go back to this mode right here. So these that are swirling, if I've got, a, got somebody coming up, let me turn off the wiper. If I've got a car coming up my way and I need to or turn off all of the lighting, I can just hit the all off button and it's gonna turn every light accessory off. I pass the vehicle or get through camp, I can hit that button again and it's gonna turn them all on. So again, these that are swirling, they're the ones that are paying attention to what I'm doing right now. You do have your typical start stop button here, your desk key post right there, um, all of your modes in your engine mode, you can go through here. You've got normal, sport, sport plus. That'll cycle through there. And you can also cycle these up on the dat or on the steering wheel. The shocks themselves, you've got comfort, sport, and sport plus. We all know how that works. If you're familiar with the smart shock function, comfort's gonna be your light trail riding, nice plush ride. Once you go into sport mode, that's gonna get a little more speed, a little more whooped out. And then sport plus for you guys banging at 85 miles an hour across the whoops, doing some big jumping. Your drive mode selector button's down here as well. As you hit that, you've got custom, normal, sport, and sport plus in your drive modes. And then down here, you've got the steering wheel. This is gonna go through your uh, power steering modes, minimum, medium, and maximum. Down here, this is your four-wheel drive indicator. You've got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive trail, four-wheel drive active, and back to two-wheel drive. Simple operation there. This button, this is where you're gonna lock and unlock the diff. Lots of controls available on here. This is an accessory. This does not come with the vehicle, okay? 
Your 10.25 does come with the vehicle, but you're gonna need to add this uh, for those smart accessories. Also inside, we've got the uh, tablet mount here. Um, it does fold over, so you got good field of view here. Glove box there. Tons and tons of cool features, and again, you can control all of these uh, modes through here on the dash as well. And everything here is fully customizable from the sound system volume to advancing the tracks and all of that kind of stuff. You do have your headlight switch over here, low beam, high beam, high beam indicator up on the dash letting you know the high beams are on. And down here, reverse and drive. Put the machine in reverse, put the machine in drive, and then you've got the different modes going on here. Very nice, very nice. More accessory switch ports down here. This machine also has the door bags installed on the sides. It's got the JL Audio roof up top. Side mirrors have a great field of view. Let's hop out. You also have that center back there. Lots and lots of cool features, lots of technology behind this vehicle. You guys have been begging for it for a long time from Can-Am, and now you've got it. I'm excited to see where the future goes with all of the smart accessories as well, because you know they're not done. The aftermarket world will grab hold of it as well, I'm sure. Great job, Can-Am.